Hello guys, today we'll be going over how to use pivot tables on Microsoft Excel. So here we have our order sheet. We're going to go over to our insert tab and click pivot table. Now when you do this, recommended pivot tables will pop up with different ways you might want to view your data, such as quantity and total cost by order date, quantity and total cost by order number, and so on. But for this video, we're just going to create our own. So you're going to click New Sheet. And on the left, you're going to see an empty pivot table. This is where your data will be summarized. And on the right, you will see pivot table fields. These different pivot table fields are filters, rows, columns, and values. So let's try clicking Total Cost. And when you do this, it moves over to our Values field. And you can see here that it sums up our total cost on the left. Now let's try to add some more dimension and drag our product number to our rows field. Here you can see that it summarizes our data as product number by sum of total cost. What you can also do is drag product number to our columns. It all just depends on how you want to view your data, but this is what it looks like. Let's try another example. What you want to do is uncheck product number and let's drag our order category to rows. Here you can see your pivot table has broken up those order categories by sum of total cost. This can help you see how many sales you have for each order category, like small, medium, and large orders. So what we're going to do now is clear our table by unchecking both your total cost and order category. Now let's select quantity and it will go over to our values field. This sums up all of our quantities sold as you can see here over on your left. Let's say that you want to know the quantity that you sold by product number. You'll drag over your product number to the rows field. So now you have your product number in the rows and your quantities sold in the values section. What you can also do is add an additional row with order category. So we're going to drag our order category right above your product number. And what this does is now group your order category by product number and quantity sold. You can add as much as you want into the rows and what that'll do is just continue to break down your data. Next, we can try moving that order category into our columns. Now that we have our product number in the rows and our order category in the columns, your table will display not only the product number, but also by order category, how many you have sold. Now that we have our product number in the rows and our order category in the columns, your table will display not only the product number, but also by order category and how much you have sold. It helps to play around with it just to help you figure out the best way to view your data. Next, we can try to move our order category over to our filters field and see what that looks like. This filters our quantity sold by order category. You're going to click the drop down next to the order category. Now, unselect all and let's try small and medium orders. All right, and just click OK. This filters down all of our quantity sold by small and medium orders and then by our product numbers in those rows. So we're going to put our order categories back into our rows, right above our product number, so that you could see your products sold by order category and quantity. You can also change the headers to make it a little bit easier to understand. So let's change sum of quantity to quantity sold. And you're going to change our product number to just products. Another thing we can do is sorting our values. You do this by right clicking. 
You do this by right clicking the values. We can sort it from largest to smallest. You're going to go over to sort and let's do descending. By sorting it, it just makes it easier for you to interpret. You can easily see now what the top three sold were and what the bottom three sold were. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Slapjacks. Thank you for watching.